Oh, hello. Today, we're in the Great Marsh. There's a dangerous creature that lives right in there. Most dangerous creature in the world. He sleeps right over there. His name is Alfred. I've met him once or twice. Nearly ripped my nuts off. Let me tell you about this fight we had. See, I was putting my cuffs up. Getting ready to give him the old one-two. He slapped me right in the face. Left me on the ground, knocked me out for days. Anyway, let's jump in. I just messed around. I wouldn't go in there if my luck depended on it. Look at that. Ugh. Crap and all sorts of muck in there. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, hello. I just got this crazy idea. What if the sky was made of diapers? Started falling down, hit me in the face. Diapers filled with baby crap, and it turned into frogs. Then the frogs started hopping at me like, oh, what are you gonna do about it? Take one of those frogs and eat it for dinner. That's right. Anyway, that's a random thought that just popped into my head. I thought I'd share it with you. Hmm. There's not much to do out here but sit and hang out and chain smoke. That's pretty much where I spend most of my time. Yep, right here. Do this for days and days. One time, this great big creature came out of the water, most dangerous creature in the world, I swear. Came out, started putting its fists up. A bitch slapped him right in the face, sent him back in the water. That's right where he came from. Anyway, he landed on a lily pad, started swimming out there. Way the hell out there. Oh, well, looks like some people over there. Let's go meet him. I'll, I'll tell the rest of the story later. Let's go. They fell right in the water, the people did, I swear. Oh, looks like they're dead. They'll be dead before they hit the bottom of the lake. The creature will come up and bite their toes off. Can't swim without toes. Oh, dangerous fall. Kind of reminds me of this one time I was out here, right? This old lady came out here, she started whipping me with a cane. I said, bitch, get back in the water where you came from. Slapped her right in the face, she fell right in. Cane. I took that, I took that bitch's cane, <laughs> and I hung it on the wall. Whew. Funny story that was. <sighs> you know, I'll give my regards to them swimming at the bottom of the lake. I'm gonna be over here chain smoking. Looks like I think of some random story to tell you. Feels great to crank one off on the pier. Best place to do it. Whew. Wow. One time I was out here smashing my meat, right? Big old creature came out of the water, nearly ripped my dick off. So I smacked him right in the face and sent him back in there. I told him, here's what I told him. I got real close to him. Real close. And I said, listen here, little bugger. Try and bite my dick off and then I'll slap you right in the face again. Oh, funny story it was. Whew. Oh, there's so many stories I can tell you about me on this pier. Let's go to let's go check out some other parts of it. There's so much to do on this pier. Let's go. Oh, come here, come here. Yeah. Wow. Great times, great times right here. See that little pad right there? That lily pad's a hundred years old. This great big creature used to live on it. Used to steal grocery bags from people who come by and 
there's a little shopping mart right over there where you can get cheese and meat and stuff to eat, make yourself a nice sandwich. Anyway, he was stealing this one grocery bag, right? So I came up and snatched it from him. It was a Walmart bag. I took it out of his hand. He started hopping around. I told him, like, listen, this is right here. You can't be going to the grocery store. It's stealing bags. Those aren't your bags. You gotta buy something if you're gonna put something in those bags. So I suffocated the little bugger in the bag. And I threw him right back in the water. Right back in that water right there. Anyway. I'll never forget him. Little guy about this big. Tried to bite me right in the hand. I told him, no, no. You ain't gonna do that and get away with it. So you know what I did? I took his bag out of the water. I threw it in the garbage. Because you can't be polluting the water, see? Just can't be doing that. Anyway. I took the garbage out. Put it in a waste management dumpster. Took the dumpster out to town. Threw it all out. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that story much longer. Let's, uh... Let's go that way. Some good stuff right over here. <laughs> oh, lots of fun. Well, I could sit in here in this, this boardwalk and tell you stories for days, but I'm not going to. I don't want to bore you. Good times, good times. Anyway, that's about it for our show, ladies and gentlemen. Next week, I'm going to discover a brand new horizon of creatures. Till then, later.